Good morning to all of you. Delhi High Court imposed a fine of 25,000 rupees to the Bhajanpur PS in the north east subdivision of Delhi city itself for failure of their statutory duty of registering a case given that is a case or FIR given by an individual. No doubt. In this connection, mass cases, group cases have been registered. But when the person has come and he has given a complaint, it is the duty of the police to register the case. That is what is envisaged in this particular case. Delhi High Court, even they have gone to the extent of imposing fine also. You may be knowing, according to section 154 of the CRPC, as and when any cognizable offence is reported, so the police, the officer in charge of the police, in charge of the police station, should reduce it to writing, and he has to register the call, so-called FIR. Right? There is a remedy also if the police fail to register the FIR, even according to 154 clause 3. If you are uh, uh, not happy with the police that they are, that uh, they have not they have not been registering your case, you can approach the superintendent of police also. Then they can direct. The other alternative is, according to 156 clause 3, you can file a private complaint. All these methods are there. Here, all these things failed. Therefore, the court imposed the 25,000 fine to the Delhi police. Now, we will go into the uh, happenings. What happened? Now, let us know. You may be knowing the incident of uh, firing in Delhi. So, recently in this uh, CAA issues. Right. Anyway. The complainant, Mr. Nazir, he stated that he suffered a gunshot injury to his left eye when Naresh Chagi opened fire on him. Then he was taken to so GTB Hospital, Delhi, wherein he was operated. Ultimately, he was discharged later on 19 3 2020. On 19-3-2020, he went to the police station, that is Bhajanpur, and gave a report to SHO Bhajanpura. And in his complaint, he named Suresh Chagi and three others as the assailants. Right? So, <clears throat> but the police did not register any case. And emboldened by this, the Chagi and the brothers, they have been threatening Mr. Nazir. So, therefore, on 17-7-2020, that is after four months, he approached the Munsef magistrate and uh, he filed uh, a uh, <coughs> he filed a private complaint and it was endorsed to the police uh, under section 156 class 3 CRPC but still no FIR. This is the issue. Now he has approached uh, the district court. So I think he is Mr. Yadav, Vivek Yadav or somebody. So the ADJ has clearly uh, stated that uh, the police, we know the other, he has stated that the police miserably failed in performing their statutory duty of registering the FIR. Right? How this happened? Now, when the matter came to the notice of district judge, so <coughs> he says, the police say that on the report of ASI Ashok, who was present on the spot near the house of Nazir, they have registered a case. How the case is? So the case is like this. Mr. Ashok he has been performing duties near the area of Nazir and uh, some people fired uh, uh, gunshots which hit uh, Nazir and others. Six people were injured. So, basing on the report, uh, the police registered a case and they have been investigating. Right? This is a group case. Right? But here, what happened is, after discharge in the hospital, Mr. Nazir has come personally to the police station and he gave a specific complaint. And he also, now he is saying that uh, these people are threatening him also, life threat is also there. So therefore, they have to, they are supposed to register a case. But now, what the police are telling is that already a case has been registered and the matter has been pending. This is their uh, answer or defense. But, the court did not agree. The court is of the view, of the standard view, that no FIR was registered on the subsequent complaint of uh, the plaintiff, uh, that is complaint Nazir, even on 3 7 2020, where he clearly stated that the, there are threats to his life. So, no doubt. So, whenever such incidents come to your notice, the SHO has to register a case 
I have to investigation. If same incident is there, he can club the, he can file the clubbed charge sheet because three incidents can be clubbed together and uh, charge sheet uh, can be filed. He has to do that, but he cannot refuse to register the FIR, stating that already the matter has been registered. And so, if Mr. Nazir has been has given a previous case and he wanted to extra incorporate the extra matter, they need not register an extra case. But here they have miserably failed to register the case. Therefore, they are imposed a fine of uh, twenty five thousand. So the DCP Northeast he has to pay the fine and he has conduct an he has to conduct an inquiry and after fixing up the real uh, real uh, culprits, uh, they can recover the money from the salary as told by the state, uh, as told by the High, uh, high Court of uh, Delhi. Right? So actually, Nazir Ahmed gave the FIR, not registered. Nazir Ahmed filed a private complaint in the court, it was endorsed to the police, not registered. Now they have taken the plea that they have already registered a case based on the report of ESI. So, <coughs> The ADJ has come down heavily on them. Basing on that, now they have come from revision, revision petition before the High Court of Delhi. And of course, High Court of Delhi also did not concur with the police and they stated that uh, these people failed to perform their statute duty. They have to pay the compensation. Right? So this uh, amount will be paid to the Delhi District Legal Service Authority who will allocate the money to the Advocates Fund, Advocates Welfare Fund and it should be used to COVID-19 victims, Advocates who died due to COVID-19. Good judgment, please read it and enrich your legal knowledge. Thank you very much.